The increment core amount is the foundation of tree ring analysis. I'll show you the dimensions of mine, why I chose those, and how I make them using only the table saw. I cut these strips one half inch thick from a nominal one inch board, so three quarters inch actual dimension. That helps me keep my fingers safely away from the sander and see if I'm off one way or the other. And I can get two very close to each other under the microscope for comparison. I cut the groove in two passes with the table saw, with a depth of about 0 0.60 inches and a width just narrower than the increment core, about 0 0.190 inches. Using a dried increment core from your own core for reference, you want to have this pressed right in with three points of contact for the glue. But it's okay if it's not perfect, as long as you get two points of contact for the glue. The biggest reason I like these thinner core mounts is that when I scan these in for measurement, I can scan in about half of my site at once, and then I can compare all of these ringlet series together well, I'm still in the measurement process. And the reason I have this groove offset is that I can put my label here. And I'm living a little dangerously. I'm putting all my label information here. It would be better to have it here and then just have the 16B up here so that when I'm looking at the scanned image, I see that, but I can't accidentally sand it off.